In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the columns element in Shogun, which is one of the most essential building blocks. I'll illustrate it with this first point. If I drag and drop an image onto the page, and then I drag and drop a button onto the page, they're just going to stack on top of each other vertically. So if you want to create a horizontal drop zone, what you need to do is you need to add columns to the page. So here I'm going to go ahead and delete this image. And I'm going to drag columns onto the page instead. Now if I want these columns to be full width, I will want to put them in a full width box. So I'll drag, the drop, drag and drop the box onto the page, make the box full width, and then I'll drag and drop these columns into the box. And now I have full width columns. So here, try that again, drag and drop an image into one column, and drag and drop a button into another column. Now, some styling configuration on the columns themselves. If you want to increase the number of columns or decrease it, you can do so here. So here I can dial it up to three columns, four, five, six. Max out at six columns. If you want more than six columns, all you need to do is put columns inside of columns. So here, got a more reasonable amount of columns, number three. And if I want to change the proportion of these columns, I can do so quite easily by using this slider. So let's say I want to make this button very big. I can do so using this slider. Let's say I want to make the image very large. I want to move the button over here. I can do so quite easily using the slider. For column spacing, that is the gap in pixels that's between the columns here. If I want there to be zero gap, I could set this to zero and the columns would be touching each other or I could choose a much larger gap and have them further away. Columns are a containing element, and so I'll give you an example of that. If I go ahead and upload a picture into the picture element that's in one of these columns, you'll see that it's all nice and small. And if I drag and drop it outside of the columns, it becomes its normal size from when I uploaded it. Again, I can pull it back into the columns and it will become smaller. So I'll illustrate one last way the importance of columns for alignment and centering. I'm going to go ahead and delete these columns and this box. Here I'm going to go down to where my snippets are, pull on this pre-made section that I already made. Let's say we have a hero section, the background image. And we want some text and a button aligned in this image. So here what we would do is we would go, we would grab some columns, drop them inside of the box. We would go to padding, unlock the top of padding here, and I'll push those columns 200 pixels down. I'll dial the number of columns up to three. And here, drag and drop a button into these middle columns. Also drag and drop some text. And here, say, hero section. Go ahead and make this white so we can see it over the image. And make it significantly larger here. And there you go. So now you can see the usefulness of columns. They are the horizontal building block of Shogun. If you have any questions about columns, you can feel free to email us at support at getshogun.com.